Hey, what's up guys? It's Pedro here from NoobCoder.com and in this tutorial we're going to be talking about handling an HTTP POST request using Express. Now an HTTP POST request is typically used when working with forms. So I have my form set up right here. I have an email address field and a password field. And if I was to hit submit, that would be an example of a post request. Now, obviously we're getting an error from node, cannot post to this route. And that's because we haven't actually coded anything yet. So if we take a look at Visual Studio Code, you can see our form that I set up. Action is going to be the route that we're gonna code. So I just put forward slash the HTTP method is going to be a post method. Here we see that we have our email field and our password field and our button of type submit. So now I'm just going to head over to app.js and I actually want to code the app.post method. So if we take a look at our application as it sits currently, all I have is an app.get. This is the route. And all I'm doing is serving the HTML file to the user. So in order to remedy this, we're going to use a module that's going to parse the form data for us. And that module is called the body parser module. And that module is called the body parser module. So to get started, we're actually going to have to install this module. So I'm just going to come down here, cancel our server. I'm going to say npm install body parser. So let that install. And now from here, what we're going to do is require it into our application. So I'm just going to say const body parser is equal to require body parser. And now from here, what we're going to do is use middleware. So Every time we use middleware, we're going to call app.use. So here I'm just going to say app.use. Then I'm going to say body parser dot URL encoded. And then within here, we're going to pass in an option called extend it. And we're going to set that to false. So end that with a semicolon. And all this is doing is allowing us to parse URL encoded forms. It parses the data for us and attaches it to the request body. The extended option is set to false because we aren't dealing with any complicated objects. All we want is an email and password, which are both strings. So now that we have that set up, let's actually code our app.post HTTP request. So we have our get here. And now I'm just going to go down here and instead of saying app.get, I'm going to say app.post. The first argument is going to be the route. And as you saw in the HTML file, the action route is the forward slash. The second argument is going to be a callback function with the request and res object. And now from here, remember what the body parser does. It parses the data for us and it attaches it to the body of the request object. So now what I can do here is I can say console.log request.body. And this is going to give us an object with the properties of email and password. And now from here, usually when you post something to the server, you usually use whatever the user inputted and you do some database work. So I'm just going to say database work here. And once that database work is done, you will send a response to the user. So I'm just going to say res.send successfully posted data. Now I'm just going to hit control S to save. Go down here. I'm going to type node app, start up my server. Let's head over to Chrome. And now if I hit refresh, just to reload it, let's type some random email, random password, hit submit. So now what happened here was I filled in my email and password. 
I post it to the server. I got a response back from the server saying everything was posted successfully. So if I go back to Visual Studio Code, you can see that our console.log is working. We're printing out the request.body and you can see that our form data has been successfully parsed. So if we take a look down here onto the console, you'll see that we have an object with the property email and its value. And you also have property of password and its value. So that's pretty much how you would make an HTTP post request using Express and the body parser module.